Here's a quick recording on some filtering updates, and this is applying to the event list that you're seeing here on this uh, main events page, the calendar view, and then also on reports. So if you're looking at your event list, we'll start here. Um, you can click over into the filter icon over on your right hand side. Clicking into your filters will allow you to select these various filters. So we have tag, status, start date. We now have owner. And so this is going to be the event owner, um, whoever created the event or is usually, the, you know, the default. And then if they wanted to update that later on, they could change it. But if we go ahead and select, um, I'll select name and then I go down to hit apply. It will filter to the events that are just under my name. We can also apply multiple filter filters and you'll see here with the filter icon, it'll let you know how many uh, filters that you have applied. So let's just go with booked, apply, and it's gonna narrow that down for me. So we have two filters applied here. And then let's take a look at, if I go to another page and then we'll come right back and you'll notice that these filters stay here within the event list. So if I wanted to click over into my inquiries to check that out, but then I decide I wanna go back to my event list, the event list is going to stay with those filters apply until you change it. So that's why it's indicating here in blue and how many filters in case you forgot that you applied those. The other view, um, it will be separated but the, we have the calendar so the calendar filters and the event list filters are completely separate meaning because we have these two applied here does not necessarily mean that is the look on this side we figured that there probably is some different use cases if you're looking at the calendar versus the event list so here you'll see the filters are set at zero um, but we can go ahead and apply those as well um, here we'll apply and then you'll see that event is now gone. So that will stay here in the filter on your calendar versus your event list. If we go back here, we can see there's two. This is filtered under my name, Brooklyn, with booked events. And then our calendar is filtered by Raquel's events. You can always clear these out and it'll go right back to the way that it was with all the filters unselected. And then we also now have filters on reports. Here, if we go over, you can now also filter by owner as well. So if we wanted to just look at reports that pertain to myself, I can hit apply, and then you'll see all the events 